2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid Review. If you want a fuel-efficient vehicle with 7 seats, take a look at the Pacifica Hybrid. Before 2017, there weren't several choices if you wanted good mileage at a vehicle with 3 rows of seating. The Toyota Highlander Hybrid was basically the only game around town. However, there is not much cargo room behind another row in a three-row crossover, and adults don't fit easily into your legroom challenged rear seats. The 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid solves these two problems, using a spacious seven-passenger layout along with a cleverly concealed power supply. The Pacifica Hybrid is a plug-in hybrid so that you can charge the hybrid power supply with an external power source to have up to 33 miles of all-electric driving range. In some scenarios, that's enough juice to lower kids at school, proceed to the office, run an errand at lunch, then return for him or her and evening soccer practice, all without dipping in the gas tank. When you do need gas, a stout V6 engine takes over to assume duty. The EPA estimates you're going to get 32 miles per gallon in combined driving, which can be still definitely the best inside minivan segment. You only throw in the towel two things in choosing the plug-in Pacifica hybrid on the standard minivan. The gas-only Pacifica comes with a seat management system called Stow and Go for your second and third rows. With it, both rows of seating fold neatly in the floor to produce a flat load space behind leading seats. The hybrid 16 kWh battery power occupies the empty space below your second row that permits those seats for being folded within the normal Pacifica. Additionally, a second row bench just isn't available, so you're able to only seat 7 inside the Pacifica hybrid. Other as opposed to runner's minor drawbacks, the Pacifica hybrid is virtually the same as the common Pacifica. There's the hybrid powertrain, obviously, however, you get the same high-quality interior materials, intuitive GUI and comfortable ride. And because the Camp Touring Plus Hybrid matches up having a mid-trim Pacifica at a features standpoint, every hybrid is rather well equipped. In fact, the fully loaded Limited isn't now more expensive compared to Touring Plus, though this says more details on the hybrid's high starting price versus the top trim's comparatively low upgrade cost. If you can click beyond the Pacifica Hybrid's base cost and not enough second row stow and go, you will end up rewarded having a handsome minivan that provides cargo and third row room more advanced than what you'll find in different rival. What's new? A new Touring Plus trim level joins since the entry level Pacifica Hybrid model, while last year's trims, the Premium and Platinum, happened to be renamed Touring L and Limited, respectively. Blind Spot Monitoring an aftermarket Hue Connect infotainment system, HD radio and newly available Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard overall. A 20-speaker Harman Kardon head unit is combined with the limited number of standard features, plus the rear seat Hue Connect theater system can stream video from connected Android devices. The navigation system now incorporates 4G LTE Wi-Fi connectivity. We don't normally recommend purchasing the most expensive trim available, but inside the case in the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, we feel the fully loaded Limited provides most deal. It doesn't cost much more versus the Touring L, nevertheless it adds an important number of features. For not a whole lot more compared to L, you obtain upgrades including premium leather seating, a computerized parking system, advanced driver assistance features, as well as a rear entertainment system with seat-mounted screens for your kids. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid is usually a three-row minivan that seats seven passengers. It's available in three well-equipped trim levels, Touring Plus, Touring L and Limited. Under the hood of each Pacifica Hybrid is really a 3.6-litre V6 engine augmented with dual electric motors, 260 horsepower total, the computer is paired using a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, that drives top wheels. It can travel about 33 miles on power alone. After that, the V6 and normal hybrid operation dominate. 
a 240 volt power source can fully recharge the 16 kilowatt hour power supply in about two hours. Standard exterior features within the Touring Plus include 17 inch wheels, automatic headlights, LED taillights, fog lights, power sliding doors, heated mirrors, and keyless entry and ignition. Inside, there are an 8 way power adjustable driver's seat, with 4 way power lumbar, a person information display, a tilt and telescoping tire. Tri-Zone Automatic Climate Control, Ambient Lighting, Second Row Power Windows and also a 60-40 Split Folding Third Row Seat. Technology features have an 8.4-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Connectivity, Bluetooth, Voice Commands, along with a 6-speaker sound system with HD and satellite radio, a USB port along with an auxiliary jack. Standard driver aids incorporate a rear view camera, rear parking sensors and a blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. A power liftgate can be acquired as a standalone option. The Touring L adds the electricity liftgate, in addition to roof rails, remote engine start, an alternative center console, heated front seats, a leather wrap tire, leather upholstery, and second and third row shutters. Both Touring models might be ordered having navigation system, that adds 4G LTE Wi-Fi connectivity plus a rear seat entertainment system, along with a DVD player with an overhead computer screen. Upgrades towards the top level limited are plenty of. On the outside, the limited adds automatic high beam control, automatic wipers, chrome trim, and hands-free operation to the sliding doors and liftgate. Inside, there are an auto dimming mirror, adaptive cruise control, upgraded leather, an electric passenger seat, ventilated front seats a heated controls, an automatic parallel and perpendicular parking feature, the navigation system, a 20-speaker Harman Kardon premium speakers, and second and third row USB ports. Passengers at the spine will also appreciate the Limited's added Blu-ray player, seatback video screens, a household-style power outlet, and wireless streaming from connected Android devices. Additional driver aids can also be included, with front parking sensors, Lane departure warning, forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking, plus a 360 degree parking camera included in the list. A panoramic sunroof and 18 inch wheels are optional. Standard within the Limited and optional around the other models is really a secondary driver key that Chrysler calls KeySense. Intended for younger drivers and valets, this key starts the car is really a mode that limits top speed and volume. Keeps old driver aids activated and restricts user defined satellite radio channels. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions which are fundamentally similar. The S on this review depend on our first drive on the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, 3.6 liters V6 plug in hybrid, CVT automatic, FWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the actual Pacifica Hybrid has brought only minor revisions. Our findings remain applicable to the present year's Pacifica Hybrid. Braking In regular driving, the brakes are really simple to modulate that has a short pedal travel and good feel and response to get a vehicle with regenerative braking. Steering The steering is well weighted and it's really easy to maintain stability around the highway but it communicates almost no about what the wheels are going to do when you're on off it turns. In low road grip situations, good steering feel will help bolster driver confidence. Handling Considering the Pacific or Hybrid's substantial weight, handling is okay as long as you don't do your easiest Mario Andretti impression. Body roll is trapped in check, plus it makes it around corners well, setup steering doesn't feel that precise. Mid-corner bumps are dispatched with few issues. Drivability Shifting to L noticeably ramps within the regenerative braking force when lifting over gas pedal, vacationing in normal D mode creates more natural braking feel. The handoff from rigid to mechanical brakes is imperceptible. Comfort There's many room within the Pacifica, nevertheless the seating position inside second row is usually a little tight. The overly firm seat cushions compromise comfort, too. 
The ride quality, however, is smooth and calm. Seat comfort. All three rows have firm padding that serves to not discover the seats to get quite as comfortable as those on other minivans. The second and third row seats recline try not to slide forward or back for comfort. The second row seats are merely large enough for adults, your third row is the best choice for kids. Ride comfort. The Pacifica Hybrid fails the road comfortably with poise. It's seldom bothered by large or small road imperfections. Dipping a wheel right into a pothole sends a shudder from the cabin, but there is little jostle once the wheel returns. Noise and vibration. There is minimal road noise and just a small amount of wind noise developed by the side view mirrors at highway speeds. You obtain the bonus of quiet all electric operation at low speeds, although the hybrid CVT makes all the V6 engine drone noisily at full acceleration. Climate control. Climate might be controlled through knobs and buttons about the dash or over the touch screen. Both ways are relatively all too easy to use. The air conditioning does a great job of keeping the complete cabin cool on hot days. Three zone climate control is standard. Interior. Whether you make the daily commute or spending a protracted weekend within the highway, the Pacifica Hybrid's cabin can be a pleasant place for being. Judged strictly with the numbers, the Pacifica Hybrid is marginally small compared to rivals. Nevertheless it feels equally as spacious as class leaders. Ease people. The controls within the Pacifica Hybrid are intuitive and all too easy to use. The buttons are large and simple to locate within arms reach and the driver. Touch screen controls are presented well with commonly used commands offered by the main home screen. Getting in, getting out. The front seats are mounted somewhat high but there is a low floor and high ceiling propose. The sliding rear passenger doors supply a generous opening for ingress, egress and loading child seats, as there are a large gap between the other row seats to access your third row. Driving position. Highly adjustable front seats as well as a tilt and telescoping wheel make it very easy to find a cozy driving position. The leader feels large, solid and hefty with you. Roominess. From the leading seats, the Pacifica Hybrid feels relatively large, with ample headroom and hip room. Legroom inside the second and third rows, however, is merely average by minivan standards. The third row is positively roomy against a Highlander Hybrid. Visibility. Massive windows, big mirrors and clear lines of sight allow it to become very simple to see out on the Pacifica Hybrid. Blind spot monitoring, rear parking sensors along with a rear view camera come standard, along with a 360 degrees around view camera is optional. Quality At first glance, the Pacifica Hybrid presents a trendy vibe with nice soft touch surfaces. On closer inspection, though, situations are less than perfect, with crooked stitching within the steering wheel and door panels, for instance. Utility the Pacifica Hybrid is not the largest at school but only falls behind leaders such because the Honda Odyssey by a few cubic feet. The Hybrid doesn't offer stow and go seating inside the second row due to the battery power. But the seats may be removed. The third row seat folds into the floor the clothes era. Small item storage. The center console storage is big enough for big water bottles along with a few snacks. There are small pockets everywhere from the cabin, including cup holders, cubbies and magazine slots. Got hundreds of little things. They all fit here. Cargo space. Though quite a bit less roomy as gas-only minivans, the Pacifica Hybrid offers more cargo space than competing hybrid or F-crossovers. You get a massive 32.3 cubic feet behind the trunk seats which fold flat on the touch of the mouse. Child safety seat accommodation. The rear sliding doors provide great access for loading baby car seats. There are two teams of latch anchors inside second and third rows, 
but accessing them isn't easiest. Technology Pacifica Hybrids Uconnect is one with the easiest infotainment systems to make use of, thanks to a substantial, 8.4-inch, touchscreen display, clear graphics and controls. Audio and Navigation Uconnect is one of the top systems inside the class. The controls are really easy to understand which has a convenient menu for the lower portion from the screen for main commands. Navigation info is usually displayed about the center screen or from the gauge cluster for straightforward viewing. Smartphone integration It's an easy task to plug in, boot up and index music quickly through USB ports. No problems connecting devices via Bluetooth either. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard for 2018. Driver aids A rear view camera, blind spot monitor and rear parking sensors are standard. Adaptive Cruise Control, ACC, Lane Departure Warning and Intervention, plus a 360 degree camera are optional. ACC is hypersensitive, often creates a substantial following distance, then breaks hard when you will find there's minor slowing. Voice control The Pacifica Hybrid comes standard with voice controls for audio, messages or calls and voice text reply.